This is a patient that had a history of juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma, resected in 2005, and presented with right-sided rhinorrhea and a sensation of fullness in the right nasal cavity. On imaging, we see that there is an enhancing nodular lesion within the posterior aspect of the right nasal cavity that is contiguous with additional involvement of the right sphenopalatine foramen, as well as infiltrating the right greater wing of the sphenoid bone. We also see evidence of post-surgical changes of the perinasal sinuses and inflammatory perinasal sinus mucosal thickening. This was further evaluated endoscopically, which showed residual or recurrent nasopharyngeal angiofibroma in the abnormal areas of enhancement as described. Although this case is not an example of a florid primary presentation, we see a good example of recurrent or residual disease in the sphenopalatine foramen, which is where these lesions classically arise. These are benign lesions histopathologically, but appear infiltrative and aggressive in their typical pattern of growth. They frequently involve the pterygopalatine fossa and may extend into the nasopharynx and nasal cavity, as was evident in this case. The vast majority of the lesions occur in adolescent males, and recurrence is not infrequent. CT can also add helpful information regarding the extent of osseous involvement.